Razan Zaitune is a human rights lawyer and she joins us from uh, Damascus and it, it must be said that you were the activist, the human rights activist who supplied us with the, the latest information on the death toll in Tel Khala. Uh, if you would, tell us how you received this information and have you been able to verify it yourself? I've talked to many eyewitnesses in that area actually. And some people who are still holding in this area, they are telling some horrible things are that there beside the 27 who got killed there is many other who got killed and they were kidnapped by the security and were taken to the national hospital in Talkalakh which is invaded by the security and army and so until this moment we don't know the whole number of the killed people it's it's much uh, uh, higher than 20, 27. Besides that, there is more than 150 persons got injured. They are in very critical conditions and nobody can help them. There is no hospital in the area left. There is no doctors, no medicines, nothing actually. That's what makes the number increasing daily sure. because many of injured people got, uh, are dead because there is no medical treatment. Well, I, I have to ask you, uh uh, Razan, is this a, an active uh, Tel Kala? Is this an active reform movement area, uh, an active reform movement city in Syria? We haven't heard, I have to be honest, we haven't heard a lot of reports of uh, demonstrations in this particular city. Actually, if you see the videos only two days before the uh, in, before invaded of Tel Kala, you can see there was a big uh, protest. Mm. There was uh, slogans everywhere calling the regime to end, calling for a new uh, regime, calling to end Al Ba'ath Party rule in the country. It was a very active city, but it's, it's a small city, very, very uh, far from the center of the events in, in other cities. That's why there wasn't not, no much light on events in this city, but it was really active. If you yeah. just watch the videos only a few days before. Yeah, and I think it's, it points out part of the problem in trying to cover this story is that there could be a demonstration, uh, reform movements going on in a number of cities, and, and, and certainly we're not able to cover them as effectively as we would like to. Uh, can you give me a sense as to whether or not this is a growing movement, the, the, the pro-democracy, the pro-reform movement in the country? Because, again, it's difficult to get reports, so it's difficult to put some kind of context on the shape and size of this movement. It's, it's going on. It's continuing every day. It's, we, we have today, for example, not less than 10 protests across the country. Many protests, we don't hear about them until next day. It happens in villages and the small cities around the country. So the movement is going on, is continuing. Okay. And let's leave it there. Arazan Zaitune, uh, thank you very much.